Hello everyone, this is Devan Edwards, aka Devan the Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself. Now, I just want to give a little insight and some little thoughts and notes I've been taking about just deprogramming our mind and um, reprogramming it to be set on a, on the frequency of abundance. But let's go let's go into the brain for a bit. So the brain is a supercomputer if not the original supercomputer. So let me give you an analogy. Let's give it, for for example, um, the monitor on a supercomputer would be our appearances and actions. And the keyboard would be the information we need or we input through our senses. And then the hard disk would be everything or every experience that is permanently stored in our subconscious mind. So let, me give you, so let me give you a question. If you found out an airplane had a bad program as a pilot, would you get off? Yes, you would. As a passenger, would you get off? If a car had a bad program on how it operates, would you drive it? Probably not. But how is it that in life, when we have bad programming, we don't change it? Something to think about. How comes in life when we had a bad programming, we do not change it? Why not erase the? Why not erase it that program, and reprogram our mind for better? Because in my understanding, that the subconscious never sleeps, but it needs a lot of repetition to overwrite a bad program, and and that's why affirmations work and whilst you're sleeping and whatnot. And um, associating with things that can overwrite that the bad programming or the programming that's not serving us. Because if others can control us, then we are out of control. And if we keep giving away our power, what we're left with? We're left in confusion and left not making our own decisions that will steer us in the right direction towards our higher self and towards that which needs to be done in our lifetime and that which we actually want to do in this lifetime and um, another key thing is to be resourceful or strive to be more resourceful within ourselves so we have three resources in life that's time energy and mind our mental real estate so I'm going to end on this. Use use life's abundant resources for yourself and not against yourself. Use that time, the energy and mind for yourself and not against yourself. This is Devan Edwards, aka Devan the Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself. Reprogram the mind, stay empowered. Take care.